Welcome back to Element 4, the Amateur Extra Study. And we are on element, sub-element 2 delta. And this sub-element assumes that you have experimented a little bit with your radio. Which of the following digital modes is designed for meteor scatter communications? And that is MSK144. And I will tell you that 144, you can't type that fast. So those are usually CAN responses, and if you want to experiment with some of those modes, check out FL Digi. FL Digi. It has quite a few modes in it. And then WSJT-X. WSJT-X also has some of these modes that are going to be mentioned here. What information replaces signal-to-noise ratio when using the FT8 or FT4 modes in a VHF contest? And that is going to be your grid square. Now, in a previous video, I believe that was in the technician, I did show a map of what grid squares are. I'm assuming by the time you get to your extra, you should know what your grid square is because you've probably entered it somewhere, whether in QRZ or if you put in N3FJP's AC log, you've entered a grid square somewhere. If you've done parks on the air, you've probably seen the grid square of where the park locator is. Which of the following digital modes is designed for Earth, Moon, Earth communications? Now, EME, anytime you see that, should be Earth, Moon, Earth. And that is bouncing signals off of the moon. And the mode is Q65. So Q65 is for EME communications. What technology is used for real-time tracking of balloons carrying amateur radio transmitters? That's going to be APRS. And for the longest time, I thought that this meant position. It does not. It's amateur, or it's not. It's automatic packet reporting system. And you can go to APRS.FI, and you can look up call signs or look at the map and see locations of people. So I have a digipeter at my house, and this is a hand that lives in my town right here that tends to drive. He got picked up by my station it's it's not high enough. I need more tower. So that is automatic packet reporting system. What is the characteristic of the JT65 mode? JT65 is like watching grass grow, but it decodes signals with, with a very low signal to noise ratio. It's pretty neat. You can find JT65 in WSJTX if you want to listen to it. Which of the following is a method for establishing an Earth-Moon-Earth -Earth contact? That is time synchronous transmissions alternating between stations. So if you've done FT8, that is a time synchronous transmission where you have 15 seconds on and 15 seconds off where you're listening. FT4 is half that time. It's seven and a half seconds on, seven and a half seconds off. So that is time synchronous. That way you don't step on somebody. What digital protocol is used by APRS? It is the AX.25 protocol. If you want to look up that standard, you can. That's a little deeper than you'd probably need to go. And AX25 is used in my favorite APRS program, and that is Exastier. X-A-S-T-I-R, Exastier. And I use a, a modem that is a program, and it's called Sound Modem, and it uses AX25. What type of packet frame is used to transmit APRS beacon data? And that is unnumbered information. Unnumbered information is information that's sent out and it's not expected to be received correctly. It, most of the time it is, but if you get a clash with another APRS beacon, you, your packet may get lost. What type of modulation is used by JT65, and that is multi-tone AFSK. So that is some shift keying, and there are some neat things out there if you want to look at some of the maps that are made with multi-tone AFSK. I can't remember which program I used that uh, would show you uh, how those tones were lined up, 
and how it decoded them, but that is multi-tone AFSK. What does the packet width wide 3-1 designate? And it designates three digipeter hops are requested and there is one remaining. So this last number is your countdown. So it might start out as 3-3 and then count down to dash 2 as it hops once, dash 1 as it hops the second time, and then the third time that it hops, it's done. How do APRS stations relay data? Now I just mentioned that at my house I have a digipeter and it is by packet digipeters. And what it does is it receives a packet and then it sends that packet back out when there's a quiet spot where there's no transmissions. And now we have made it to the end of two delta sub element. I'm Rob W1RCP. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, subscribe to the channel for your support, 73.